This is a recap for Monday, November 2nd. So in class, um, what we did is we started off um, with a review of how to simplify an answer when we're multiplying fractions or dividing fractions. So let's say we were multiplying 3 fifths times 15 eighteenths. So we would do 3 times 15, that's 45. 5 times 18, that is 90. And we could recognize that 45 is half of 90, so we'd simplify that, divide by 45. Divide by 45, and we get 1 half. But we talked about something called pre-simplifying, recognizing, looking across this direction, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 18 divided by 3 is 6, 5 divided by 5 is 1, 15 divided by 5 is 3, and so we could just do 1 times 3 and 1 times 6, and we could even simplify right there, recognizing that that's 1 half. So we could end up with 1 half in the answer before we even multiply. So let's try another one. Let's do 9 um, tenths, and we're going to multiply that by 5 thirds. So what we can do is recognize, we have to look and see if numerators and denominators share factors. So 9 and 3 share a factor of 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, 9 divided by 3 is 3. 5 and 10 share the factor of 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, 10 divided by 5 is 2. So 3 times 1 is 3, 2 times 1 is 2. So that could simplify to 1 and a half. Um, let's do one more and show how it could be really helpful. If we have some pretty big numbers, like let's say 21 35ths, and we're going to multiply that by, let's say, 10 sevenths. Uh, so this would be 210, and then here we'd have to go up to the side and do 7 times 35, and we would get 200 45, 240, and then we'd have to think what goes into both 210 and 245, but what we could do instead is recognize 7 divided by 7 is 1, 21 divided by 7 is 3, and uh, 35 divided by 5 is 7, 10 divided by 5 is 5, so then we can get 15, um, let's see, and 10. We must have made a mistake here somewhere. So I'm going to find it because the answer cannot be um, 15 sevenths. So let's look at our 7 times 35 and see if that was correct. 7 times 35 is 35. Carry that 3. 7 times 3 is 21, 245, 245, two, 21 times 10 is 210. Okay, so, oh, I see where it is right here. 5 goes into 10 two times. So we did 35 divided by 5, so this is 35 divided by 5 gives us 7, 10 divided by 5 gives us 2, and so our answer would be um, 6 sevenths. Okay, so that is one thing that we did. And then we took um, a quiz, which I'm going to go to. So, And you can go there. If, well, actually, if you're watching this, you can't because it's uh, teacher-directed. So I'm going to go here. Uh, let's see, how can I do this and show this quiz? Well, here we'll do it another way, because we did this in class, we can't really do it live. Um, let's see if I can back up to the previous questions. There we go. Okay, so 
here is the first question that we did. Uh, and let me pull out my pen here. Uh, we'll write in red, it'll show up really well. So what we have to do when we're multiplying or dividing mixed numbers is change to improper fractions. So four and a half equals two times four is eight plus one is nine. Nine halves divided by and then we'll do one and two thirds. That's equal to five thirds divided by five thirds. The reciprocal of five thirds is three fifths. So this is nine halves times three fifths. So that is 27 tenths and that's two and seven tenths. All right, so let's Go to the next one that we did. We had the next problem that we did in class was four and one fifth times five and one fourth. So that's twenty one fifths. and tw times 21 fourths. So 21 over 5 times 21 over 4. There's no shared uh, factors between 21 and 4 or 5, so there's no simplifying. 21 times 21 is 441. 5 times 4 is 20. 4 41 divided by 20, it's like this. So there's one remainder, and that's over the 20. So that's 22 and 1 20th. 22 and 1 20th. Okay, let's go to the next problem that we did in class. Okay, and then this is the last one that we did in class. So this is one and one third. Actually, we'll do one more after this. One and one third divided by two thirds. So we could go through all the steps of changing it into an improper fraction. Four thirds divided by, uh, looks like eight thirds. And then we could do four thirds times three eighths. But I want to talk about a little um, test taking strategy here. This is one and a third divided by two and two thirds. This part's bigger than this part. That means we're going to have something less than one. So that means that it can't be this. It can't be this. And these two are equal to each other. They're equal. So I would always choose a simplified answer. So the answer on that one was a half. I guess that's as far as we got today, but let's just view this one. Oh, okay. You never did talk about this one in class, but we'll talk about it here. Six and two thirds times three fifths. Let's change that six and two thirds to 20 thirds times three fifths. The ones, or excuse me, the threes Simplify to 1, 3 divided by 3, 3 divided by 3, 5 divided by 5, 20 divided by 5 is 4, so this equals 4. You could have also just multiplied that out and got 60 fifteenths, and that is 60 divided by 15 is equal to 4. Okay, so that gives you a little help on the quizzes for this week. Um, let's go back here to classwork and recognize that the only assignment this week is Cami week 8. And you don't have to do all the problems, 
but you're going to want to do enough to replace what you usually would do on IXL and on Desmos and on your notes. So it's a pretty big deal. So you're going to do whichever problems you want. If you want to, um, here, let's open it in Kami. If you want to work on it in Kami, you can do that. If you want to uh, work on it on your just paper and pencil in your notebook and then take a screenshot of it at the, at the end of the week, you can do that. Um, some of it's notes and information. Some of it, there's problems. And some of it has answers. Some of them you're going to have to ask me if you, if you want to check to see if you have the right answer. So the, part, the problems with answers are down at the bottom of the document. Uh, page 8 is an answer key for page 7. Page 10 is an answer key for page 9. So you choose which problems you want to work on and work on them. And um, to get you ready for a test that we're having this Friday. So that is a recap for Tuesday, November 2nd.